But in your hearts, set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. You are the typical godless moron. Good luck in hell, jackass. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with the hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to be there when you get the chance to tell him yours before he drives your head into hell. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. I've asked you four times now on how man arrived on this earth. Why won't you answer, you pathetic weasel? I don't hate gays. I just post facts about homosexuality as told in the Bible. Yes, yeah, sorry, faggot. I'm not Jesus. I do, however, crush morons like you and yours with facts. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You atheist evolutionist morons are my bitches. What does it take to wake you idiots up? Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. I'm not here to hold your hand to find facts the rest of us already know as true through research and university study. My advice would be to type non-Christian proof for the Bible in search as a beginning. I might also comment that if you are going to write a book, you might want to learn how to spell. It's poorly educated people that fall for false religion and brainwashing. Before his downfall, a man's heart is proud, but humility comes before honor. I have two degrees. How many do you have? But I tell you who hear me, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Nothing says I'm a factless moron like an atheist with the IQ of a brick. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another so that there may be no divisions among you and that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought. Hey, typical brain-dead fucking moron, maybe you should not rely on the public education that produced your ignorant, godless, moral-less, stupid ass. Get off the calculator you got in your cereal box, you fat moron. Try a real one. The answer is 19,412,878, you stupid son of a bitch. And you people wonder why I call these people bad names? You need your fat neck snapped, you idiot. Hatred stirs up dissension, but love covers all wrongs. Hey, moron, why don't you actually read the Bible and finish your training? The New Testament will show you Jesus spoke of all things before they happened. He knew how the universe was created. He knew the earth was round. He knew it all. How did you think he knew that? What will it take to wake you? You know, that is a great question because it makes me realize something. I have had much debate with Muslims and honestly, they are the most polite and open to discussion. You see, they believe there actually was a Jesus and that he was a prophet. Unfortunately, they don't believe he is the son of God and savior. I haven't had too many Muslims troll or attack me. We usually have an honest debate and agree to disagree and they go away. Thanks for posting. All the Muslims are going to hell, just like you. What part of me saying Islam is false and Muslims are condemned to hell don't you get? L-O-L, what else would a hell-bound Muslim say? Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. You are the most brainwashed, vile, stupid, godless piece of shit around. If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Hey, fat fuck up! What part of getting out a real cap don't you get? How old are you, three? You are beyond fucking stupid. You, therefore, have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else, for at whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself, because you who pass judgment do the same things. Sorry, cunt, we don't do links in videos here. Try to think on your own just once.